I'm with Amal Dweeb from the Al Sadil Society in Bethlehem. Now, Amal, what is Al Sadil? Sadil Society, it's a health organization that's taking care of cancer patients and uh, chronic disease uh, patients and their families. This is the this is the Sadil. Uh, we uh, we got our uh, registration in 2008. And when were you founded and why were you founded? Yes, uh, we found it. We started to work on in 2006, and uh, after uh, after I worked with the cancer patient for six years, we found that we give the patient the chemotherapy and the treatment, and we are fighting the disease, and we forget the the patient itself, the human itself, and the family of the patient. When the patient, our patients, after uh, two years of treatment and five years uh, of treatment, they come back again with their currency of disease. In that time, we didn't uh, able to do thing for the patient because they have no no choice for chemotherapy or radiotherapy treatment. We uh, we have uh, just we need to uh, do the symptom control and we uh, we need to do the pain management. And uh, we didn't know how to deal with these cases. In, in that time, I got a chance to have a training course in end of life care in uh, in USA, and in that time uh, I found a comparison between how they are taking care of the terminally ill cancer patient and and what the quality of care in uh, in our uh, country so we, I decided to do something that's similar to improve their quality of life and this is this is idea started from here now are you government funded or are you just a charity we are a non-governmental organization. We are a charity, and uh, we didn't get any fund from the government. Our fund is from the local community, international, and national uh, donors. And what's your vision for here in Bethlehem? Yes. And uh, our work is aiming, and our vision is aiming to be all over Palestine. Our vision is is that life is a gift from God, and therefore it should be kept pain free as much as possible using outdated knowledge and skills. The society activity are aimed to be free and affordable to the patient who need them, and not only the patient who able to pay for this. Now, is medical care very good here in the Palestinian Authority? According to the medical care for the cancer, uh, especially for the cancer patient, we have a very good uh, health uh, uh, health insurance for the patient, uh, and we have a specialized people that take care of cancer patient. They about for the uh, the chemotherapy side, for the for the radiotherapy, and it's free for the cancer patient. But uh, but the problem here is that and all the uh, all the treatment uh, is free for the patient. But the problem here is about the quality of life of those cancer patients, about pain management, symptom control, and family care, patient care. We have a deficiency in these issues. So you find the patient in terminal illness, in terminal of the illness, you find the patient suffering from burn, suffering of load of symptoms, and they need a care, special care from the social worker, the psychologist, and the the nurse who are specialized in palliative care, we don't have this specialty. So uh, when we did the research about even the patient have a free of charge uh, the treatment, they have their quality of life. When we did a research over all the West Bank, we find the quality of life is a grade of 40 from uh, 100 because the load of symptoms, the financial difficulties, the, uh, the stage of disease, and uh, the fatigue. So the problem is uh, still very big because the patient, even he got his treatment, he, we, we, they didn't give any attention to the to the other parts of the patient as we should look to the patient as a whole uh, psychologically spiritually uh, and physically and socially and uh, I guess this is providing dignity for some of those people who are in their last days 
And it's very important because from my experience in, in working with a cancer patient, and this is the start of me, when uh, before in 2006, when we start, uh, I, I was working with a cancer patient. We didn't uh, give uh, the terminally ill cancer patient any attention. We started to talk with each other that this patient is terminally, we, we, we have nothing to do for him. The human is a human, uh, so he should die in dignity, uh, free of pain, uh, free of suffering. And this is what made me to start palliative care because palliative care is, is equal the quality of life and the good quality of life according to the WHO standards. Mm. Are you the only ones doing this in the Palestinian Authority? Sadil initiative and palliative care is not found all over the Palestine. It's a very new initiative and the only initiative in my country. And how important is this work for the families? When we did the, the, uh, the big research about all over, all over the country, we asked the families what they need. The families, they need, they need dignity. They need caring, they need love, they need uh, to, to control their pain and suffering, and uh, they need somebody to talk with them. They, they want people to, how to communicate with them, to respect them. And this is, this is a, a very big need for, uh, for the patients. And also, they need, uh, the, in most of the cases, if we manage it in home, it's good for the patient because they, they suffer a lot from uh, going the, the board and they need special permits. So they, they, these patients uh, need to be treated in home by, uh, we can, and, and we can afford it by a palliative care team. And you've just recently had a camp. What sort of people were on this camp? Uh, our camp was uh, finished in uh, 21st of June. This camp was for, for 14 days, and our beneficiaries uh, was the patient itself and the, the brothers of the patients and th- sisters. And uh, also we had uh, the, the people who are uh, his mother or father died from chronic disease and cancer patient. And also we have also uh, sons of family is that he's the mother or father in hospital and taking care of it in, in the hospital, especially the terminally ill. So in this camp, we provide a family. It was a very beautiful days. Uh, we, we did uh, many things. We, uh, we had uh, uh, drawing sessions. Uh, we had uh, something that to product some products and uh, uh, something that to express their feeling. Uh, we had a special uh, theater show for those people that, that express their feeling. And uh, we had also uh, uh, trips that we took them to, to enjoy in, uh, in, in uh, some uh, beautiful places and tourist places. And uh, we offered for them uh, the, the very healthy food and uh, uh, to, to, be, uh, to, uh, to be deal with a healthy food and also we, we provide them uh, many fun, fun activities that we host uh, many societies that uh, do a fun activity to do it for them in the uh, camp. And it was, it was a great experience for the patient and they told me in the end of the camp that we want to continue in, the, in these days. It's very beautiful days for them. Mm. And they forget the disease. Mm. Now you're not just doing care, but you're also doing education as well. Yes. But, uh, according to the education, we, are, uh, we have agreement with the Ministry of Health to integrate the palliative care in the curricula of nursing school. This agreement uh, to, uh, to help the uh, student, the, especially the nursing student, to, be, uh, to know about the quality of life, about, the, uh, about palliative care, which take care of quality of life, uh, good, uh, good communication, symptom management, and pain management. And we did a many partnership to do workshops uh, in all over the universities of, of West Bank. And we are cooperating with the universities in research, in implementing research with their students to, to raise the, the, the need for a palliative care service. 
Now, are people in the Palestinian community aware of prevention of cancer, like foods and smoking? We don't have a lot of programs that work on this. Uh, we need a lot of work to raise the awareness between the, the community because it's still the, the, the community have the stigma of cancer. It's still the community uh, they deal with cancer as a fatal. Uh, for that, they hide. If, if they find uh, any, uh, uh, any sign for cancer, they hide it because they are afraid of dying. So we need, to, uh, they, uh, they are still, uh, they uh, uh, smoke a lot and we have a lot of stress. We have a poverty and in the poverty their, their food is, uh, is not healthy. So we need to work in a healthy diet, we need to work in stopping the smoking and also we need to work to raise recorrect uh, many uh, many misbeliefs about cancer because cancer now is treatable unfortunately we have uh, we have every year we discover around 1400 cases most of them 70% of them is in late stage because of the patient didn't aware about the, the symptoms and they didn't give any any attention to their health now you also have a workshop within the university as well we have workshops. We did many workshops with uh, with Birzeit University, Al Quds University, Bethlehem University, and with the hospital itself, with the Ministry of Health. We have workshops that talk about palliative care and about the basics, the basic principles of palliative care and the importance of palliative care. Mm. Uh, and do you care for both Muslims and Christians in the community? Especially in Bethlehem, and I'm talking about Bethlehem because we are, we, our start in Bethlehem and now we expand to, to Hebron and for education and all over the West Bank. We have no difference between Christian and Muslim, especially, for example, our place that we are in now is donation from a, a Christian person. So we have nothing between to differentiate between Muslim and uh, Christian because sick person is sick person and we we are uh, here we have a Muslims and we have a Christians that who, whom they are volunteering in this uh, job now some of those people who've survived cancer do they end up becoming volunteers here in El Sadil uh, after we uh, especially the youth we try to uh, recruit them or take them uh, to our idea because the person uh, who had passed this suffering and he succeed he will give us a lot we have in the uh, administration council we have one survival and we have around to 10 cancer patient and diabetic they are working and especially in the camp they give us a lot of care because they are expert in dealing with the disease and they they show the success we are we succeed so those people they are the most important part in our work mm. and why do you do what you do for me basically I told you that I am a nurse and I, I love nursing and I love taking care of people so uh, this is initiative started when I dis when I found the suffering of the people so I, I decide to do something for our community and I found and I discovered that there is many people like me he want to help and he want to give but he, he didn't have the right place so this is the idea started start in uh, to give we need to give the people when we collect uh, the volunteers and many person we can make something and uh, from my experience and from suffering with these conservation as oncology nurse I, I, I decided to do uh, this start because I, I know many friends and I, I have many family members that they are suffering a lot with cancer especially and also the chronic disease so we I'm looking for, uh, for the human we are taking care of the human whatever the disease he had and what's your prayer finally for anyone who has cancer today I am really I pray for my uh, one of uh, volunteers my daughter of one volunteers 
I'm asking God to, to, uh, to, to cure every cancer patient, but now I have a very severe pain because one of our volunteers, young, young baby, she is at nine years old, she, she, she discovered as a Hodgkin lymphoma and, and uh, uh, treated and the disease recurrent for her and she is now traveling to Jordan to get a treatment and really I am asking God to help all the cancer patient and here to be uh, recovered from the disease it's a very, very it's a very difficult and i ha- i hate i hate this disease and everybody who has got this disease if he found somebody that sit beside him and beside his family he will be very strong and uh, the the treatment is important and the chemotherapy important but uh, the psychological support and the social support and the physical support is equal 50% to the, uh, to the treatment and nobody can tolerate a treatment without support of multidisciplinary team. Well, Amal, I think you're an amazing lady. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.